Good morning, YouTube and RVers everywhere. This is RV Lady and RV Dog. And I like that she's RV Dog. We are coming to you from French Camp RV Park, located right off the 99, but far enough that you don't hear the traffic noise. And um, it's a nice little park. It's got a swimming pool and laundry room. It's well kept. Um, uh, a lot of the spaces are back-end spaces. They all have, um, what's that called, um, utilities and, um, you know, water sewer hookup. Uh, they supposedly have cable. Well, no, no, no. They do have cable. Um, they're supposed to have um, Wi-Fi. But just like all these parks, um, you know, their Wi-Fi is really non-existent and it's broken or whatever what is that about and and why as RVers are we letting them get away with this crap Ola um, it's the 21st century let's all get on board I hate to be the only one here okay I was supposed to turn there I think no I wasn't I don't know where I'm supposed to turn hopefully this goes around but we stayed here we got here about 2 30 yesterday and I, for one, was exhausted. The dog was exhausted. And, um, you know, we did the things that we had to do, plug in, blah, 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 um, that we needed to get done. And then we laid down. Uh, it was very nice to lay down. But this is, um, this park is associated somehow with this golf course. I think it's maybe a long nine or short 18 I'm not really sure but there's golf here if you can call playing and weeds golf and and I shouldn't say that because that's how I grew up that's how I learned how to play golf was in the weeds um seems like there's a lot of long-termers here um can't really tell for sure I just haven't seen a lot of people in all these spots here on the right are for those people like myself who come in and they do have pull-through sites here, but as I said before, most of them are back-end sites. Um, there's a nice little creek that rolls through here, and um, you know, it looks polluted and whatever, and I'm sure it is, but um, <coughs> it's okay. And it's called French Camp RV Park, and over there's the swimming pool and laundry room and showers and things like that. There's a jacuzzi or whatever, a spa. And um, I haven't quite figured out the trash pickup. I've noticed that a lot of people have trash bags sitting in front of their uh, rig. So, you know, I just threw mine on the picnic table and said, c'est la vie. Uh, here we are leaving. They have a nice uh, dog. They have two dog um, off-leash areas that are fenced in very nicely. And they have poop pickup bags, though I noticed not too many people use them. And here's some gentlemen over here playing golf. Shall I yell four just to laugh? Um, but they have two very nice um, recreational areas for the dogs, which was actually fabulous um, for Ruby. She really liked that. And she's really used to that because there's the Muddy Creek. And it's right next door to a, yes, that is a cemetery. Big fence. Can't see it till you're leaving. I saw it on the way in. But, um, you know, big cemetery, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> you know, you get old in your RV and then they just move you over one, one lot. So um, maybe people are buried there in their RVs. But um, it has a, this has a, a practice range, which is pretty nice. And yeah, the whole place is pretty nice. The cost, I want to say, was somewhere $40 with tax. And um, that's about all I know. But it's not too far off the 99, which is the highway I'm running these days. And I'm going to run down to the Salia, um, which is about 60, 70 miles south. 
and take care of registrating this via registration on this vehicle and also updating my uh, insurance so that I know I have full coverage. Checkout time here is 11 o'clock. Looks like they've got a bar. Oh, that's the 19th hole. Duh. And um, this is the registration building. And it's all very nice. Seriously, it's all very, very nice. And, you know, if you want to come someplace and play golf and rest, I found it very restful and I was very tired. Um, and then they have something called a fitness center, which I can only assume has, um, I don't know, fitness equipment there? I don't know, maybe that's just another name for the 19th hole. I think that would be hysterical. <laughs> Anyway, um, that's it. Um, oh, it looks like they have a happy hour here somewhere. Coors Light, Tuesday through Thursday, 3 to 6. Okay, I'm not a drinker, so that doesn't do it for me. Um, but that's it. We're going to get on the road. There's some beautiful daisies across the street. I am so happy to be in a climate with limited humidity and sunshine. I can't even tell you. I need that. I need the sunshine. I need the dry. I didn't know that until I was up there on the coast. And then I realized, let's see, how does one get on the freeway here? I don't know. Oh, it was probably right there. Yes, it was. <laughs> We needed to go left there apparently. Let's see, because we are going south and that would have been the southbound. So now I get to get down here and find a place to turn around. So anyway, that's it for me. I'm gonna, you know, sign off and I will speak with you all later. Um, this is RV Lady signing off from someplace French Camp, California. And um, I'm gonna make a big giant U-turn right a key. Okay, be well, be brave. Oh, thanks for subscribing and commenting. You know, I just really love all that stuff. And I'm trying to get back to everyone. I'm not able to see everybody's videos because um, I just haven't had the time, quite frankly. So I'm gonna, you know, make it a point to watch everybody's videos, but right now I'm just handling the, um, you know, responses to comments. So that's all I know. Yeah, life is good. I'll talk to y'all later. Be brave. Bye.